Hey everybody, Jeff here from Timothy Pottery, um, and I wanted to, in this video, address one thing, uh, and that's, as an artist, my comfort zone where it comes to the work that I do. And this is going to be familiar to all you artists out there that, um, that are always trying to kind of create new work and, and do new, new art. In order to grow as an artist, you really need to be willing to kind of take chances push through your comfort zone into unfamiliar territory to create new things. Um, so uh, with that in mind, today, right here, this block I've been leaning on, uh, this is black clay. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. I've never used black clay before. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use my extruder and extrude some test tiles with, with my trusty test tile extrusion die that I cut and I'll just uh, get the setup on the extruder. Follow along with me and let's get to work. Um, so I always keep a sprayer uh, with that, that can actually mist a really nice, it's a really fine, fine spray. Um, I always keep this around the studio with me and uh, it's used all the time to keep, keep the dust out. So this is the uh, black clay. Look at that. That is going to be ridiculously messy. Um, thing on terms. Now normally in North America, specifically where I am in Canada. Um, we use the term wedging when we refer to working the clay, either spiral wedging or ram's head wedging. Um, and honestly, that term is wrong, so stop saying it. This is wedging. known as slam wedging for a very good reason. Now the term kneading, as I understand it, is used in England, and I will agree with the English on this one. The action of kneading bread is correct. When you knead bread, you knead it, you don't wedge it. So why would you say you're wedging clay? when you're actually kneading it. So what I'm doing right now, wedging, will take my clay and distribute the water in it nice and evenly. What I'm doing is I'm creating, in about tw 20 uh, repetitions of this process, you end up with uh, over a million, I'm uh, literally a million layers of clay. And this process also removes air bubbles. So I'm happy to do it. And you know what? It's way easier on you physically. It's easier on your joints. 
So these are on your muscles. So I'll just show you this piece of clay. Now it seems to have a little bit of grog in it that I'm not used to. It's, you can see the little, the little bits um, that it's sliding through. But um, wedging will clean up your clay. Like it makes it nice and even. Gets rid of air bubbles, air pockets. If you have a denser area and a more wet area, it blends those together perfectly throughout the whole surface so that you get a nice, nice, even body. So you could, you could just cut this up into pieces and throw it right on the wheel. You wouldn't even have to, you don't really even have to, um, to knead it after you've done a, f a, a thorough enough wedging. Um, like I said, 20, if I do this 20 times, it gives me over a million layers. I think, uh, I think that's good for now. And my next step will be to just um, stretch this block out so that it's narrow enough to fit into the extruder. So I'm actually slamming and pulling on the ends to get it to lengthen. So there we go. So one piece ready for the extruder. About the right size. And oh, I need to put my die in place. If I don't, I'll just drop the clay right on the floor. <laughs> There we have it, one uh, piece of extruded clay ready for cutting into test tiles. Well, there we have it. All my uh, pieces are extruded. Now, uh, all that's left to do is to take those strips that I've done and to uh, cut them into individual tiles. I'm just using this uh, hole punching tool to measure the width of my tiles and I'm just going to use this clay knife to, to cut them. wonderful new test tiles made out of this interesting black clay. Not quite as messy as I thought it would be, but um, still pretty messy. Hopefully this has inspired you to push beyond your boundaries for all you artists and creative people out there. Uh, always push a little bit past your comfort zone to create new stuff. Once again, thanks for watching. I am Jeff from Timothy Pottery. Go be creative.